Well, I hope you like how this looks because we are using it for the next six videos. It's gonna be a big YouTube day. What's up, y'all? My name is Chris Tejas. I'm a photographer and videographer based in Ontario, Canada. I mainly shoot portraits, events, weddings, any, anything with people in it, really. And today I am gonna to talk to you about what it's been like starting a career later in life, a sort of second career in your 30s or 40s or 50s, what I think are the benefits and what are the sort of drawbacks of doing that. Like I said, we're recording a lot of videos today because I'm trying to bank some episodes as I am heading to Florence in a few days to go shoot for a coffee brand there, as well as go to the Way Up North Conference. Uh, if you don't know what the Way Up North Conference is, that's cool. I didn't either, but it sounds awesome. So I'm going to go. Now I'm totally taking over our living room right now, which means that my girlfriend is hiding in our bedroom, making no noise and pretending she doesn't exist. She told me to say that because she likes Harry Potter. That was not me actually saying she should do that, by the way. Don't at me. Can you at on YouTube? You can. Don't at me. All right, so we're going to keep this short and sweet. What's it been like for me as a 33-year-old person deciding to completely leave my old career and jump into a new career. One of the most difficult parts for me has been the fact that, you know, I spent the last 16 years working in the coffee industry from the time I was in high school onward. I owned cafes, I worked in, in the industry as like a consultant, a bunch of different stuff. And that means that to everyone in my life and to everyone in that industry, I'm a coffee guy. The problems with being just a coffee guy is that I've had to spend the last year and a half completely changing people's perception of who I am and getting them to no longer think of me as the coffee guy, but think of me as the photographer. And that's tough, that's really difficult. But it's possible, and it's actually a really big benefit if you know how to leverage it. And that's the first benefit of being older and getting into a new career is that you have more contacts. You've met way more people in your life than a 20 year old has, and it allows you to then lean into that and to try and navigate you know, finding new clients and that sort of thing with a much bigger list of people that you could go to. If you can get comfortable with going to people and saying like, hey, I'm a photographer now, this is what I'm trying to do. You've supported me in the past and I've supported you in the past and it would be awesome if you ever have any needs for photography or you know anyone who does, if you could just reach out and let me know because I would love that opportunity. So having more contacts is awesome. and. You have more contacts because you've had more experiences in this life. And that's the second really big benefit, which is that you have more experience. I think having more experience in life, whether that's with work or with you know relationships or with people in general, just it, it makes you better at what you do. If you can use what you've learned over the years from different industries and you can integrate that into what you do, you're gonna be better at what you do. So for me in photography, the biggest thing I'm able to take from my previous career is my customer service background. You know, owning cafes, working in cafes, doing wholesale, like customers are always the most important thing. And you better believe that when you're a freelancer and you're working in like something like this in the arts, the way that you work with your customer or your client is just so, so important. And I would say that my photo making and portrait making skills are good, but they're far outweighed by my customer service skills. And every time that's gonna get me the client over the other thing. Uh, the other benefit that I see is that you just have a better understanding of how the world works, if that makes sense. Like you've been in more situations, you've been in situations that you're happy with, that you're unhappy with, you've dealt with frustrating people, you've dealt with great people, you've just, you've had so many more experiences to draw from and it just kind of like hones your ability a little bit to focus in on what it is that you wanna do and what it is that you, you know, don't wanna do. And that's something that you, you'll continually learn as you do this, which is that like, you'll say no to things that maybe in the beginning you would have said yes to. And the more you know what to say no to and what to say yes to, the better off you'll be. And having like a whole bunch of experience with different types of people over the years is just so, so effective and so helpful for that. So that's something that I, I'm just super grateful that I have. This next one isn't true of everybody, but I would say like, the older you get, the less bullshit you'll put up with. So when I was 20, I put up with a lot more just dumb shit from people than I do now. Now there's a caveat to that. Like certainly in the first year of doing this, I took jobs that I was frustrated by and I didn't like, and I put up with some bullshit, but right away I was able to recognize that. And those are clients I'm not working with anymore. You know, some of them I've found like a happy medium with where I'm able to say like, hey, we're not gonna do it this way anymore. We're gonna do it like this. Other ones I just had to kind of 
cut out entirely and, and that's fine. I mean, e either way works. You're less likely to put up with bullshit from people and you're more ready to walk away from stuff that just doesn't serve you. The last big benefit and kind of a drawback as well, and that's why I'm kind of using it to bridge the gap here, is that you have more responsibility when you're older. Off the cuff, that can sound negative, right? It's like, oh, if you have tons of responsibility, isn't that a bad thing? Well, maybe, but if you have more responsibility, you probably have more to shoot for and you have more reasons to make this work. And that kind of rolls into the next one too, which is that I think life just gets more expensive as you get older to a certain degree. Like if you have more people to feed, if you have kids, if you have, you know, a house or a car, whatever, things that you didn't have when you were like a 20 year old, you definitely have to consider that when you are taking jobs or when you're quoting or when you're considering free work, even though it might be beneficial uh, in the long term for you to sort of like really set your budget where you want it, you can fall into that trap of like, well, I know I need to make another 500 bucks. So I'll do this job that really should cost 1500 for 500 because I know that's the bare minimum I need. And I don't know if another job's going to come my way. And so like it's easier to get kind of hyper focused on money as you get older, I think, because money becomes more real. The last thing also is just time. You just have less time and, and, and less flexibility as you get older. Like when I was 20, other than my job, I had nothing I had to accomplish, like nothing. I would go to my work and then I would just do whatever I want. I'd play music, I'd hang out, I'd take photos, I'd do whatever I wanted to do. I can't do that anymore. Like I got to house to clean, you know, we've got child in our life, we've got dog and cat and hat on head, things that are, are just making it so that we have less time in a day. Like the day just rolls through faster than it used to. I'm sure you've experienced this, like days get faster, weeks get faster, months get faster, years get faster, man, it's a trip. And so when you're considering a new career, when you're, especially something in the arts where there's like so much groundwork to lay and so much time that it all takes, like making things and editing things and putting them out in the world just takes a lot of time and you just have less of that. So if I was to basically sum all that up and I was to say like, you're new, you are getting into the photography world or the videography world very recently and you're older, like what would I think about? I would really think about like figuring out what my budget is, figuring out how I'm going to match my budget to the work that's coming in. I would say like, don't quit your day job necessarily right away, ease out of that or ease into this new job and really lean into your contacts in life. Build that understanding in them early on that you are doing something new. And I think that's going to help you to lean into those contacts further in the future because they will start to want to give you opportunities if they know this is something that's really important to you and something that you're taking seriously. I hope that makes sense. I think it's interesting being a little bit older getting into this industry and seeing the differences between yourself and how other people are approaching it. So if you could do me a favor, let me know in the comments, like what age were you when you started doing this professionally or semi-professionally? What was that like? And what's the process been like since then? Are you brand new to this? Are you like in your forties or fifties or starting this? What's your take? Does this all make sense to you? I'm, I'm super curious to hear. So thank you so much. Uh, do me a favor, subscribe and follow along. We've got a whole bunch of cool videos coming out soon and I really appreciate the love and support. So get out there and photograph something and be kind to yourself as you do it because this is a really fucking hard thing to do. All right, peace.